Welcome to TCU, home of the Horn Frogs. We love our friendly, walkable campus that enhances the classic college experience, a powerful academic community that feels like home. Let's check it out. The Neely School of Business is spread throughout several buildings on the east side of campus, all designed with the corporate world in mind. There's even a lunch counter for eating on the go. There are classrooms and meeting spaces, including a room dedicated to the Educational Investment Fund, where students manage a stock portfolio worth $1 million of actual money, and the Neely Professional Development Center, where students take their presentation and interview skills from good to great. The Alcon Career Center is also located here and is highly successful at helping undergraduate and graduate students find internships and permanent jobs. Harris College of Nursing and Health Sciences has academic homes throughout campus, including the Annie Richardson Bass Building. High fidelity hospital simulation spaces and research labs are cross-campus resources used for training Harris College students to become society's best practitioners. The Tucker Technology Center, Sid Richardson, and Winton Scott buildings house the College of Science and Engineering. During the Student Research Symposium, students give presentations and discuss their research findings. I'm a computer information technology major and I spend lots of time in Tucker. My professors are brilliant and it's crazy how smart and helpful they are. TCU's Pre-Health Professions Institute is in Sid Richardson, where some of the best and brightest work toward admission to professional schools, such as the School of Medicine. This innovative medical school will create physicians who are empathetic scholars and classes will be held on both campuses. No matter what your major is, we pretty much all end up here, at the library. Originally built in 1925, Mary Couts Burnett Library is hardly a quiet zone. Learning comes to life in the technology sandbox, where students get to play with the coolest gadgets many times before they are available to the public. We also have the Fab Lab, where every single student can use the 3D printers at no extra cost. But mostly, the library is where we meet for group projects, study, research, or grab a bite to eat between classes. One of my favorite perks is puppy therapy held here during finals week. Who doesn't love a warm, fuzzy puppy? Reese Jones Hall connects to the library in an area of campus we call the Academic Commons, and it's truly where the magic of ideas happens between all academic disciplines. The Reese Jones Building has writable walls, flexible classroom spaces loaded with technology, and inspiring collaborative areas so that horned frogs can get really creative. The purpose of this building is reflective of the mission of the School of Interdisciplinary Studies, which is to connect experts, ideas, and communities. Students who use this space or study in this college focus on empowering change by tackling real-world problems through multiple perspectives and disciplines. Texas Christian University gets its middle name from our historic relationship with the Disciples of Christ, aka the Christian Church. It's a denomination that embraces both faith and reason and is known for a focus on social justice and inclusivity. The Robert Carr Chapel is a non-denominational space and hosts hundreds of weddings each year, along with prayer vigils, a wide variety of holy services, and the annual Blessing of the Pets, a community favorite. The only religious requirement of students is one religion class, and a variety of them are offered. I took Geography of Religion, and World Religion is another really popular option. Students at TCU represent more than 60 different faith backgrounds, and all are welcome. You may recognize TV journalist Bob Schieffer from Face the Nation or CBS Evening News. Well, he's the namesake for the Bob Schieffer College of Communication and got his start right here at the TCU student newspaper. Today's Schieffer College students can also gain experience at the Roxo Advertising and Public Relations Agency, at radio station KTCU, on TCU student media newscasts and websites, on the speech and debate team, or on our live sports broadcasts, all of which happen here in the Mowdy South Building. Mowdy North is home to the College of Fine Arts and where visual art, interior design, and graphic design have their studios, lecture halls, and exhibit spaces. Across the street, you'll see, and hear, Ed Landreth Hall, the Walsh Center for the Performing Arts, and Irma Lowe Hall, home to TCU's dancers, musicians, and actors. In these busy halls, creative minds put their passion into practice while learning from some of the best in the industry and presenting their work as part of Fort Worth's rich cultural scene. I've played the trumpet in a TCU marching band since I've been here, and it has truly made my TCU experience. The bronze statue outside the College of Education is called Teaching to Change the World. Graduates from the College of Education are doing just that, one student at a time. TCU is the only college in the nation with two laboratory schools 
Kinder Frogs, and Starpoint, where College of Education graduates and undergraduate students can observe, teach, and engage in research. Graduates of the College of Education are well equipped to shape tomorrow's leaders for excellence. The name and combination of TCU's founders, brothers Addison and Randolph Clark, formed the title for the Adran College of Liberal Arts. Located in Reed and Scarborough Halls, Adran's many offerings intersect with every degree at TCU. In Adran, students can choose from more than 38 interesting and flexible programs of study, all geared towards helping them find careers they are passionate about. The John V. Roach Honors College, located in Scarborough Hall, offers high-achieving students the opportunity to learn through exploration of varied cultures and examination of complex global issues. First-year students live in the Honors Residence Hall, Milton Daniel, where they have access to collaborative areas, special resident events, co-curricular programming, and a unique community experience. If you live in one of the many residence halls, the Campus Commons is everyone's front yard. This is the place where traditions happen, like homecoming, the tree lighting, concerts, and ESPN College Game Day. Nearly half of all undergraduates live on campus, creating a residential community like no other. Many students stay in campus housing all four years, and it's no wonder why. Upperclassmen especially get awesome suite style rooms and even full apartments. And you can sleep in, because class is just a short walk away. No matter which hall you call home, You'll love the close-knit community and sense of spirited belonging. Many lifelong friendships start right here. TCU has more than 200 clubs and organizations. Chances are, you're going to get connected with one or more of them here at the Brown Lupton University Union, known by the students as the Blue. It's a 24-7 community where students and professors gather, interact, study, think, eat, perform, debate. It's kind of like a little town with a post office, convenience store, gift shop, ballroom, coffee shop, and even a 350 seat theater for movies, performances, or speakers. Maybe best of all, there is an entire wing dedicated to student organizations, so no matter what group you're in, you have a place to meet. When you live on campus, you have easy access to lots of great places to eat. Market Square, located on the second floor of the Blue, is the largest dining hall on campus. It's an unlimited eatery that has a delicious variety, from global cuisine to health food, vegetarian, vegan, or even gluten-free. The first floor of the Blue has a place to eat with a rotating menu, and there's also a grill that's open really late. Still hungry? Cross the street to the King Family Commons, and inside you'll find a variety of mini restaurants serving up tasty fare. You can get anything from Tex-Mex to homemade pasta to coffee shop pastries. There's something to please even the pickiest eaters. Adjacent to the King Family Commons is the Greek Village, a community of national fraternity and sorority chapters meet and live here. This next place is one of my favorites, the Rec Center. Our 200,000 square foot complex boasts an entire floor of the latest cardio machines, most with our own personal TVs so you can watch your favorite shows while you sweat. Prefer classes? There's everything from boot camp to bar, spin sessions to yoga. Or you can lift weights, play racquetball, climb the full-size rock wall, or take an air-conditioned jog on the four-lane indoor track. If swimming is your workout, the indoor pool is open year-round, and the outdoor pool opens in March. Personally, basketball is my kind of workout, so you can find me on the court just about every night. Intramural sports are also huge here, and sign-up is at the rec. Flag football, billiards, basketball, even rock, paper, scissors. If it can be a physical competition, it's an intramural sport, and there are leagues and tournaments for every skill level. And when you want to get away, the Rec Center offers different rentals and programs to let you discover the great outdoors of Texas and beyond. One of the greatest things about the TCU experience is game day. Our football games happen at historic Amon G. Carter Stadium, right here on the west side of campus. And if you're a TCU student, it costs zero dollars to walk right in and cheer for the frogs. That's right. Big 12 sports are free to all TC students just for showing your ID. Same with basketball at the incredible Schollmeyer Arena, baseball at Lupton Stadium, beach volleyball, tennis, track and field. It's all here and all free. Amazing. Come see us in person sometime. We'd love to show you around again.